now students the topic that we will be uh, taking up today in the video lecture is the 3d model of cell membrane all right and this cell membrane is one of the important topics of the cell chapter uh, belonging to the 11th biology standard all right so we'll be first talking about the cell membrane portion all right that where it is found and then we will discuss about the chemical composition as well now so let's start with let me just first uh, start uh, with uh, an overview of all the structure so this is the view from the uh, upper portion that means the above portion uh, of the cell membrane you can see all right this is the frontal portion which you can see that means two layers are being found we will be discussing these layers as well and this is the lower portion which you can see all right so we'll be discussing each and everything in detail now so let's first start with the definition part now if we have to define cell membrane all right then cell membrane is also known by an another name which is called as plasma membrane so it is also known as plasma membrane now this is a very unique membrane which is responsible for protecting the cytoplasmic contents of the cell all right so since this is a very unique membrane so this membrane is prominently found in all the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells so found in all prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells all right so this is the uniqueness of the membrane which is called cell membrane now since the structure or the overview which you can see over here is the plasma membrane of human rbc so this is a generalized 3d model of the plasma membrane of human rbcs all right so we will be dealing uh, first with the composition part of the plasma membrane now we will talk about the composition part so let me just shift this model a little bit towards the left side now let's write down the composition so chemical composition of cell membrane all right so if you look into the chemical composition so let me just first write down all the chemical components and then we will be discussing each of the chemical component individually with the help of 3d model now so there is an organization of lipid molecules and these lipid molecules are actually present in two layers so by layers of lipid molecules are being found the second component very important component is the protein molecule all right the third important component is the carbohydrate molecules and the fourth important component is the water molecules or water channels all right so these are the four components now let me show you individually all these components in the 3d model let's start with the first very chemical component and that is called as your uh, lipid molecules so you can see uh, that yeah 
so this is the structure so you can see that a lipid this is a single lipid molecule that i have drawn over here so this is a lipid molecule so i have taken a single lipid molecule in order to make you people understand all right see so a typical lipid molecule which you can see over here consist of a head and this head is hydrophilic all right and it consist of tails and these tails are hydrophobic so hydrophilic means water loving and hydrophobic means water hating so you can see in the model also see you can see in the model also that the head portion this head portion is facing the outside part this entire head portion is facing the outside part while the tail portion is facing the inner part of the or inner portion of the plasma membrane since they are hydrophobic all right so typically this uh, uh, molecule which you can see is a typical lipid molecule all right and this is primarily responsible for this lipid molecule is primarily responsible for maintaining the fluidity of the plasma membrane all right so this is an individual lipid molecule now you can see in the figure also this is about the individual lipid molecule that we have seen now let's just get back this lipid molecule into the 3d model itself now you can see that this lipid molecule see here this lipid molecule is usually arranged in a bilayer structure so that's why it is called as lipid bilayer that's why this is being called as lipid bilayer that means two layers are being present of the lipid molecule that's why called as lipid bilayer all right so this is the case so typically we have seen that there is a single head part and from this head is emerging the tail portion all right so this is the case now this lipid bilayer this is the head part and this is the tail of the lipid molecule this we have already seen all right now this lipid bilayer is very unique and it is being considered to be as amphipathic since it is having the property of both hydrophobic and hydrophilic character that's why this lipid layer or the lipid bilayer is being considered to be as an amphipathic molecule or or as an amphipathic layer all right so this was about the first chemical component now we will be discussing about the second important component now which is the protein part so let's shift the model a little bit so the proteins which are present in the plasma membrane it is usually of two types it can be either integral protein it is of usually two types integral protein and peripheral protein all right now let me show you the integral protein and the peripheral protein all right so so this protein which you can see over here all right integral protein is a protein let me just get back this protein to its original figure all right now integral protein is a protein which you can see that it is a protein which is
completely embedded in the membrane which is completely embedded in the membrane see the membrane from inside and outside it is like this so the red colored protein which you can see over here this protein this protein and these proteins so these proteins are considered to be as the these two proteins are considered to be as integral proteins these two are integral proteins that means the proteins which are completely embedded inside the plasma membrane so it is completely embedded embedded means inserted embedded inside plasma membrane so this is the uniqueness since it is completely embedded inside the plasma membrane so that's why it is called as an integral protein all right so this is the first category of protein that we talked about now the next is basically the second category of protein and that is being called as peripheral protein so see this figure so you can see that these proteins which you can see over here this one and this one these proteins see since they are present only externally let's get back see let's getting back all these proteins on the figure itself so you can see in the figure that how these proteins they are only externally related so extrinsic protein is a protein or you can say peripheral protein is a protein which is only attached to the plasma membrane externally so you can see that how externally the plasma membrane is actually being attached in them all right so this is the case so if if you have to slice it out like for example if i just slice it out all the things of from here just a second like this so see how it looks like all right so this is a structure this is a protein which is half present uh, inside the lipid bilayer and half present outside the lipid bilayer that's why it is called as uh, external or peripheral protein all right so this is the case see it looks like this one if we have to isolate a particular figure then this looks like a single figure but this won't give such a, a very good effect but as the effects that we will be seeing through this part this one just taking out these proteins only see these protein and this protein so and this also so these are peripheral proteins so let's note it down these are peripheral proteins all right and these peripheral proteins are loosely bound to membrane all right so this is the this is about the peripheral 